I like students who take initiative. That is part of that taking ownership of your own learning piece. So I am not a teacher who's just going to be a talking head who talks at you and expects you to remember every precious word that I say. My view is that learning happens between the instructor and the student and that I can help facilitate that, but it's going to be the student who makes that learning and who does the actual learning. And that means each for each student, that learning is going to be slightly different because they come from a different viewpoint. And I value that. I value that everyone comes from different perspectives and that they're going to be participating to create this uh, classroom discussion and this classroom knowledge. So a classroom that has a, uh, an environment that encourages uh, free thinking, encourages uh, even absurd and wild ideas, is, is so fundamental to uh, coming up with, with new ideas for exploring new territory. And so that has to be done in an environment where people are uh, rewarded for coming up with things that don't work out. Um, and, and so this, this requires lots of practice, lots of opportunity to uh, try things out and reflect. And in a way that you're not going to be punished or penalized for something not working out. Um, so I, I don't spend a lot of time talking about uh, evaluation and grades and spend a lot of time talking about uh, you know, what did we learn from this. Right? What won't you do differently next time? So my students inform my teaching style. Every year, about midway through the teaching semester, I ask my students for feedback. I use this exercise called Stop, Start, Continue, where they tell me what they want me to stop doing, what they want me to start doing, and what they'd like me to continue doing. And I implement it right away, and they receive the, uh, the benefits of those changes immediately. And it shows that students really can help create and redefine courses.